Good morning, folks. You will recognize this as L waves ripped across the planet by a large earthquake. With daylight breaking at the Kuril Islands, a 6.8 magnitude quake shook the region, lighting up over a dozen detectors. 6.8 on multiple meters, a 7.2 is an absolute magnitude reading. It's a different scale. Also at a 6.1 in Tonga this morning, that makes eight significant quakes this watch, one of the better ones. I gave up a bit on buoys when they turned off South Bali, but that's not all they've turned off. If you need to jump back to see how many used to be yellow around India and Indonesia, do it. The South Bali buoy showed 2,000 feet of seafloor rise in 90 days before shutdown. West Guam showed anomalies and it's gone. An unlisted buoy was taken down after a mysterious death at that buoy. And the last two up near India were turned off this week. Indonesian tectonic breakup zone. Below the video, you will find links to the three primary magnetic metrics for Earth dating back past 1600. Now I'm going to play this through twice. When I play it again, focus on the left blue North Pole, first showing its normal wander around the northern islands of Canada for hundreds of years, but the true pole shift begins only in the last few decades. Hundreds of years of walking in circles, she's had about enough. Those thunderstorms rolling through Australia are a bit worse than we anticipated, and the weekend may bring some more. Tornadoes touched down in Portugal where that helical low has encroached Western Europe. Here's your weekend's expected temperatures. These are some serious lows. Still have southern air flying up the central states, beginning to do so out west as well as this counterclockwise motion of the low moves in. Got a few watch zones today, probably up in Canada as well. Despite a major cool down for the U.S. in October, which framed the heat records I showed you yesterday, worldwide it was the fifth warmest month ever recorded. We had a gamma burst last night from the constellation Pisces after about nine days without one. You remember this massive set of eruptions from yesterday? We'll take a look at the updated endless spiral. It even shows Earth with a potential glancing blow. You remember yesterday I said the solar wind is stable with density slightly elevated causing this induction around 2 Hz. Well the density has taken a drive towards the mountains in the last 12 hours, nearly 10 times the particles causing a much more significant induction of resonance at multiple frequencies. Last but not least, we had another minor eruption, center disk. This makes two little CMEs, one potential glancing blow, and a coronal hole stream on the way. Mercury conjoins the sun today, Jupiter on Monday night. Quake should lessen the next five days, eyes open. No fear, it's 5.55 a.m. Eastern time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.